Hello everyone, I'm Jada Griffin, the community lead for IGN. I'm joined by some very special guests today. The producer on Street Fighter VI, Shuhei Matsumoto. Hi, nice to meet you. The director on Street Fighter VI, Takayuki Nakayama. Hi. And the project manager on Street Fighter VI, Hiroshi Okun. Hello. Thank you all for joining us today to talk about and show off some more Street Fighter VI. I'm very excited to play this. I have a few questions for you. The community has a bunch of questions for you. And the big question that a lot of people at IGN were wondering, who is better at, IG at Street Fighter VI, the director or the producer? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll just have to see what happens because, uh, you know, anything can happen in a match of Street Fighter. But yeah, so let's have you answer some questions and we'll get to see who truly is the greatest world warrior. And speaking of world warriors, how do you guys decide on which characters to return to Street Fighter versus not returning to Street Fighter in future installations? Mm. In regards to the eight uh, Street Fighter 2 world warriors, those were already determined from the get-go to bring them back into Street Fighter VI. And for other uh, returning characters like Cammy and DJ from Super Street Fighter II, also Jury from Super Street Fighter IV, those characters were decided based on their region where they come from and uh, their fighting style. They wanted to have a pretty healthy, uh, diverse balance in terms of yeah, uh, origin and fighting style. Excellent. And when it comes to returning characters, how do you balance making them feel familiar while also having them feel new and fresh for a new game? So as a, as a standardized rule, they decided that since this is an opportunity with a new uh, numbered series of Street Fighter, they, uh, they established the rule to update the outfits of all returning characters. So as you see, the, the, the costumes are are slightly different and, and updated from their past iterations. And then in terms of their, their play style, they did a lot of research to kind of understand like uh, what makes this character, uh, what made this character special and how did people, how did past players enjoy playing those characters, but then added slight modifiers to make them a little more unique and uh, refreshing. Out of all the new characters that are coming to Street Fighter VI, who are you most excited for fans to get their hands on? They are excited for players to try all the new characters okay. that are available <laughs> in the game, obviously. However, if, if you have a chance to, to play, you'll notice that a lot of these characters have like uh, difficulty levels established in terms of like how easy, it, how easy or how hard it is to, to navigate and control these characters. So that's something that you know, uh, players can refer to when deciding which character to start off with. You know, all these characters have unique traits. Some might be faster than others. Some might be more uh, technical and, and proficient in throwing. And like the throw level can increase over time. Or, you know, they can choose whatever character they think looks the best aesthetically too. So they're they're hoping that people get, get to try all the different characters that are available and, um, yeah, it doesn't matter how they decide that as, them as well. So we've had a number of betas and demos. How have you guys been utilizing that feedback uh, to progress your development? So yeah, we were lucky to receive a lot of feedback from the, the various betas that we've conduct, conducted. We were able to see that over social media. We also conducted uh, surveys as well to see what, how people felt about the overall gameplay. And then beyond that, they were able to uh, watch a bunch of different streams of people playing the beta and see how, how they were performing, whether they were uh, playing the way that they were expecting them to play. And you know, they were even able to refer to like win-lose ratios as well that somewhat affected like the, the overall balance of the game. But yeah, they were lucky to receive so, much, uh, so many comments, so much feedback, uh, which was super beneficial for the team. So uh, speaking of feedback and watching social media, how did you feel about seeing all of the monstrous creative characters <laughs> online? What, did you guys expect that? Or uh, what, what, what were your thoughts on seeing all that? They had some expectations. They, they were kind of expecting to see some crazy avatars, but it definitely surpassed their, their imagination. But this, that was something that they were super excited to see also. They didn't feel like, oh, people are going too crazy. They felt that it, it looked like people were having a lot of fun, having all this freedom to, to create and modify their new avatar. 
And uh, once the game is out, they're gonna be able to alter their outfits as well. So they're hoping to see more of those uh, uniqueness in their creations. You hear that everybody? Uh, <laughs> us the Street Fighter community, we have not gone crazy enough. So we, we, I expect you guys to turn it up another notch when it launches. <laughs> Speaking of the beta, the, we got a training mode that was included and it's very rare to get a training mode in demos or betas. Um, was it ever a question of whether or not you should include that in the beta? And why do you think it's such a rare inclusion in fighting games? So in general, the developers mainly want people to be matchmaking and fighting others to kind of ver to verify like the, the traffic and how well the connectivity is, which may be the reason why other publishers don't include a training mode in their betas. However, they wanted to have this feature available for those who who are waiting before they they uh, enter a fight with another player. So they thought that that could be uh, something fun that they can do while queuing up. And beyond that, they just, you know, they put a lot of effort into this training mode. So they really wanted people to, to get a chance to check it out and experiment with it. And, you know, they just wanted to, to show it off a little bit. Well, I can say from all the uh, fighting fans at IGN and Street Fighter fans, thank you. <laughs> um, so between all the various things that make up Street Fighter VI, Fighting Ground, the New World Tour mode, Battle Hub, what's the one thing you're most proud of? Aww. So the short answer is they're very proud of all three of those modes. So they, they want people to, they want players to, to be able to ex uh, experiment and experience all of them. World Tour especially is something that they put a lot of effort and energy into with the hopes that players who might not be as familiar with Street Fighter or fighting games in general, hopefully they can give it a shot and you know learn some of the fundamentals of what makes a fighting game so much fun. And hopefully they'll gradually learn to do certain commands that they might not necessarily be uh, super comfortable doing at first, but hopefully this helps uh, as like building blocks for them to, to get more confident, more comfortable and, and really experience the fun of what a fighting game has to offer. And of course, you know, doesn't this can be played by people who might not be as interested in like the fighting aspect of it. Uh, this is a chance to to learn and meet some of the legendary fighters that you see in Fighting Ground. So people who are just curious about the storyline, that this could be a, a great avenue to uh, to get that kind of information. So hope that everyone gives it a shot. Excellent. Yeah, I got to play a little bit of the world tour mode beyond the normal demo, and it is crazy so you guys are not ready for world tour mode i fight roombas and drones i saw refrigerators uh what other crazy things can we expect to fight in the world tour mode so yeah as you progress in world tour you'll get to fight uh a lot of different non-humanoid uh creatures and and objects so uh something that you'll have to experience when you actually play a world tour yourself but there is a a uh, specific reason why you are fighting against these appliances. So yeah, you'll get to find out as you play more World Tour. Awesome. Uh, now to shift things back to kind of the competitive landscape, Street Fighter VI is a very competitive game. Um, how do you predict that the community is going to evolve with the modern and dynamic control schemes that you've added, especially when it comes to that competitive landscape? Before we enter like the competitive aspect of these con new control types, uh, basically the, the, the reasoning for the inclusion of this was to make it as accessible so that people who might not necessarily be uh, familiar with like a fighting game or a Street Fighter game can get their hands on with it and enjoy the game regardless of their player experience or regardless of the type of controller peripheral that they might have at their home. So that was the original intention of this. And dynamic mode is, a, is limited to offline play only, but for modern uh, controls, they, they imagine uh, players to be utilizing this at a competitive level as well. And uh, a little story about dynamic mode, but this was something that was developed uh, after the fact at, at a later stage of the, the development phase. And they did a lot of research to see like how like a younger child might play a Street Fighter game. So they saw they took footage of like kids playing Street Fighter V to see how how that looked. And they just noticed that, you know, people expect something to happen as soon as they they, they press a button. So that we see a lot of uh, button mashing with people who might not be familiar with the game that they're playing. And their objective was to make something interesting happen when they press the button. So 
that's what they did. They made it so that the AI kind of determines the, the situation of how the, uh, of what the match is like to uh, to determine the, the outcome of that particular execution. So they hope that, you know, fathers who used to play Street Fighter 2 at the arcade back in the day, playing with their, their younger son or daughter can enjoy like a, a relatively even playing field utilizing these uh, new control types. Excellent. Now we've got some community questions. So some of these are gonna, might come a little out of left field, but we'll see, you know. <laughs> this comes from Kyle Tip from the Facebook Beyond group. Will there be support for custom characters through the lifespan of Street Fighter VI? It would be interesting to continue evolving your move sets and appearance beyond or within the World Tour mode. Yeah, of course. Yeah, all, uh, all the uh, post-launch uh, uh, DLC characters will also appear in World Tour and you'll get to meet them through World Tour and be able to customize your avatar utilizing the, the moves that they, that they have available. So a quick one, this is from Cyberthief at Mr. Camtronius on Twitter. Can we have multiple created characters or are we stuck with just one? So you can only create one avatar in the game. However, there are a couple different um, body shops available in World Tour where you can go to alter the, the look of your, your avatar's model. So that is available and you can also go there to save different recipes of the different looks of your avatar. You can also download recipes from other players that they that they made. So you can you have the freedom to change the look of your avatar, but you just have one. All right, this one comes from in from Animation. Would love to know if we're going to encounter any rival school characters in World Tour mode. It feels like Street Fighter VI has a lot of Final Fight DNA already. Would be cool to see also other parts of the extended Street Fighter family in the game. So currently, we don't have any like any uh, rival schools connections in the current iteration of World Tour, but because they uh, the the universe of uh, rival schools connected to Street Fighter, something that they definitely want to consider for uh, for future content. All right, so we've answered a bunch of questions, but the question I pose at the top of the show, who's better at Street Fighter VI, <laughs> the director or the producer? <laughs> we're gonna put the controllers in your hands and we're gonna see who wins the best of three. And then depending on who wins, we're gonna play against me, but we've got a special handicap set up for uh, you guys to see who, uh, for that match. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Mm. All right. Let's uh, get into it. We've got Matsumoto-san on player one, yep. and we've got Nakayama-san on player two. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Mm. So even the, the backgrounds match the, the selected stage as well during the intro v, uh, versus screen. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. Oh. See what they try to do here in the first round. Ooh, can't wait to see this good stuff here. Matsumoto-san, modern no. Modern no DJs. So yeah, Matsumoto-san is playing on uh, modern controls for DJ. Nakayama-san is playing on classic for Marisa. First, uncomfortable space here. Can they clip each other on the edge? Starts with a jump. Ooh. You can open up chances to do big damage by staying out, getting that opening, and then jumping in. Does a good job of flipping back. Get side of the corner and get some distance. Awesome. Mm. Player one can't let their drive gauge run out. They need to find a way to reset the situation. So super wow. does its job. Ah, burn it. What are your thoughts on what happened during that last round? Modern wa tame mo chanto tame nai to hisasa da ga denai de tame kera wa. So yeah, one note to make about modern controls that even for like charge characters like DJ, you still have to uh, input the charge uh, before you can activate that that special. ちょっと、ちょっと、やめ。
プレイしちゃうもんね、喋らずに。普通に。そうそう,そう。会社もいつもこんな感じ。そうそう。<笑> It's hard to kind of banter when you're when they're deep in a in a match. So they're just kind of like silently playing. わじか。Well, I mean, the match couldn't be any closer at this point. <laughs> そう。一番大きいキャラと一番ちっちゃいキャラそうそう。ナイスキャラクターの。これは反則だろここで勝たないとあれだな、アウトです負けになっちゃうね。<笑>あそうそうそうマッチポイントマツモトさんマジかもう一度やりたいかな。そうね Ties it up at 1 1. 1 Winner takes all in the next、all. match. Two of my favorite characters. I'm very excited to see this matchup. Oh, so. 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 ちょっと変わってますからね。Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, k a n and Cammy are quite different in this、uh, iteration. Pressuring them in the corner. Okay, this might be the momentum they need. All right, what's the plan? Oh, you gotta make sure you keep your eye on the timer. Low kicks are a no go. What's the game plan here at this critical stage? Hmm. Player one doesn't have a lot of drive gauge to play with. Not a good thing. 
<笑>マリーザ使いとか言ってんのうそかもメビーさんのマリーザプレイヤーアプローキストルねキャミーを打ちまさってたからかキャミーの服装の汚れも結構ディテール入ってます確かにおおおアシストアシストおおらしいねお
強襲できる。Yeah, she can be aggressive from mid range also, or good at close range. でも結構、いや、いい、いい感じじゃないですか。No! I forget what the、uh, spin knuckle command is at that quarter circle. Back circle. Ah, back circle punch, punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we going to see some fireworks here? I think we're going to see a huge battle for momentum this round. We have the radar up and running. That was crazy. Breaks the block with a throw. 強キックで出す、えー、とスパイラルアローとキャノンスパイクはホールドすることでちょっと威力が上がったり性能が変わります。So her heavy cannon spike and spiral arrow can be held to change its attributes a little bit and it becomes even stronger when you uh and release it. All that's needed to finish the round. What's going to happen here in the latter half of this? The low kick hit. Okay, okay. What's the follow up? Oh. Oh. Ah. ドライブインパクト出したくなっちゃういやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいドライブインパクトも使えない上に、okay, okay, okay. 上乗せね、プラスね。No drive impact. Oh, no. Oh, my God, my God. I'm going to go. No special moves. <laughs> so I will allow you to use your drive impact, but no specials. Okay. That make that fair? It's fair. Okay. Drive impact is good, but the special moves are not good. The special moves are not good. She can do a target combo with two punches, so even without specials or、uh, yeah, special moves, she might be able to pull through. Let's see. <laughs> えドライブインパクトもダメドライブインパクトダメこれはありそれはありですよ、うん、うわっ<笑><笑>げはあり投げは,投げはありですよね必殺技じゃない必殺技じゃないマジで<笑><笑>おおコマンド投げはダメですよねコマンド投げはダメ,ダメだ、はい、マリザの場合ちょっとコマンドで特殊構えに移行してからの投げなのあそうそうですね Let's see. But I, I'm totally fair. <笑> Oh! 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 Oh!
いいですよレベル3あれも一応スーパーチャンあマジで<笑>そうかスーパーチャンいいいいですよね必殺技じゃないス,スーパーチャン必殺技じゃない He can use a super arts right because that's not a special move I'll allow super arts I'll allow you to use yeah, your yeah, level yeah. three <笑>おいてる<笑><笑><笑> Give it to you and you whiffed it. Go to the high tower, so go, can it's got your top. What's the mix up? He's the type that uses his entire paycheck. What? Okay, okay. My man, what? Okay, Nagi got it. I got it. Oh. 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 I have no idea how to play Jamie. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Jamie is pretty tricky. Jamie is pretty tricky. If you hold down the punch button, he'll just continue drinking. Gotcha. And that changes his move set, correct? Yes. So he drinks it by the level of power, the power of the power is increased. Yes, yes, yes. Which player will set the tone of the match first? Yes. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Are you lying to us? Yes. Jamie, I uh, so I've played a lot. I've played Street Fighter since Street Fighter 2, so like I still know most of the commands, I just don't know which ah. commands ah. are gonna do stuff for him. <laughs> こう飲むコマンドを入力して飲むとあのドライブゲージが回復するっていう。ああはいはいはい。わあ。ああ。When Jamie's drink level is maxed out, and if he、oh. and if he drinks more, that will recover his drive gauge. Ah.、Yeah. That's a nice tip. But will we see a repeat? This has been a crazy pace. I did better than I expected there. Also, you're the you who kissed it. Personally, I can't wait to see what these two have in store next. Great work finding the opening. Cool game control of the match in the early going. Really excited to see how each player is going to approach this matchup. Closer. What's next? Lachi. Risky up close scraps still going. Player two is working with a better game. What can they do with it? A super up? Drink level max out. This party's getting crazy. Grabs and throws them away. Amazing awareness there. Life lead is there, but still anyone's game. Ah, you're like. ちゃんとバトシル。素晴らしい。素晴らしい。
was das ist der Kassel. And you know what? I feel good about that one. Because you didn't have any real handicaps other than a random character. Ja, die Kimochi ga ne? Just feelings. The feel like the heavy feelings they had was the handicap. The, I feel I feel vindicated in all my years of playing Street Fighter. Oh, yeah, good. Like, Renshi Stagai got. Oh, that's a lot You were playing really well. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and while I would love to continue getting my butt kicked and kicking your butt, Matsumoto-san, <laughs> um, that is all the time we've got for today. A huge thank you to you, Matsumoto-san, and you, Nakayama-san, and Okun-san for showing us off more Street Fighter VI. It's official, Matsumoto-san, you are the best Street Fighter player in the world currently, because this is the only matches you can see online. <laughs> um, don't come at me in the comments. I'm looking forward to hitting the six more and training room more to prepare for my climb through the ranks online. So thank you all for joining us. Uh, it was a real treat. We'll have to do this again to see if Nakayama-san can get his revenge, maybe play me in a handicap match. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. Um, thank you everyone for watching Summer of Gaming. Stay tuned because we have plenty more on the way.